here arguing about my, my controller didn't work right and shit. That is a stupid as fuck. Gears work in our members to bring forth fruit unto death. I'm gonna start to talk five minutes. For when we were in the flesh, the motions of sins, which were by the law, did work in our members to bring forth fruit unto death. Yeah, so I can be said, I already said it, but we ain't in the flesh, we're in the spirit. But now we are delivered from the law that being dead, wherein we were held that we should serve the newness of the spirit and not in the oldness of the letter. What shall we say then? Is the law sin? God forbid, nay. I had not known sin, but by the law, for I had not known the lust, except yeah, the- There's nothing in the law is bad. Everything that the law says, the Old Testament is good. Like when it, when it says don't eat pork, it's saying that for a reason, it's good. There's nothing bad about the law. The law is holy, and he about to say it too. Mm -hmm. and so this, this destroys that BS these fake Christians teach y'all, you don't even gotta follow the law. Cause the scripture right here says the law is holy and good. Keep going. The law, for I had not known lust, except the law had said, thou shalt not covet. But sin, taking occasion by the commandment, wrought in me all manner of concupiscuous, concupiscuous, <laughs> for without the law, sin was dead. For I was alive without the law once, but when the commandment came, sin revived and I died. And the commandment which was ordained to life, I found to be unto death. For sin, taking occasion by the commandment, deceived me, and by it slew me, wherefore the law is holy, and the commandment holy and just and good. So the law is holy and good. What well, what is wicked is us. You know what I mean? Mm, yeah. We can't keep that law. That's right. Because so, that, we're in the flesh. Continue to fight That's why Paul, Paul is pretty much cursing the flesh. That's right. That's why we got to live in the spirit. I'll go ahead and just put that. What's then? I think they're not. Uh, so they can actually do Wherefore the law is holy and the commandment holy and just and good. Was then that which is good made death unto me, God forbid. But sin, that it might appear sin, working death in me by that which is good, that sin by the commandment might become exceedingly sinful. Yeah, because another thing too, because back in the old days, the Old Testament, if you broke one of the laws, like say you didn't keep the Sabbath, you got put to death. You got to get put to death for that. If you committed adultery, you got put to death. But now the Lord, under your Shai, he can forgive you of your sin. Yeah, get a second chance. You know what I mean? Because now there's mercy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? For we know. For we know that the law is and spiritual. Because another, another, yeah, because oh yeah, the law is spiritual. Because you, you ain't going to get saved by keeping a law perfect. You know what I mean? You get saved on your faith and how much you believe. That's what it means to be in the spirit. It means you believe and have faith. You know what I'm saying? Because it takes a minute to start keeping the laws anyway. When you first get the truth, it might take you a few months to stop doing certain things. It might take you a while before you start growing your beard out. You know, it may start uh, take you a while to start celebrate the Sabbath right, the holy days, Passover, all that. Uh, keep going. Because you're not just going to, oh, it's not like we're going to get some of the truth on day one then on day one, they're going to be a super duper Israelite doing everything perfectly. Right, right. And we don't do everything perfectly. You know what I'm saying? Because we're all imperfect. I and mean, that's what this is talking about. Because we're in the flesh. And the flesh, the flesh dies. The flesh is withers. Oh, go ahead, read that. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. For that which I do, I allow not. For what I would, So he sins and he can't got no control of it. But you know what I'm saying? We don't sin willfully. Okay? Every time we sin, we sin un unwillfully. We feel bad about it. We hate it. That's something we hate about ourselves. Feel filthy as fuck. Yeah, feel filthy. That's right. Uh, go ahead. For that which I do, I allow not. For what I would, that do I not. But what I hate, that do I. 
See, so Paul said, that's some shit he, about himself he hates because he can't stop sinning. He can't, because he's not perfect like the Lord. But that's why you gotta be spiritual because you're not that, you're not getting saved for keeping the law perfectly. You're gonna get saved for your faith. Mm -hmm. That's right. And that's what that's talking about. That's pretty much the point on that. Faith and works helps. Yeah, well, <laughs> faith with works helps. Well, faith is works. That's right. You know what I mean? Right. They go together. That's they like hand in hand, compatible. Peanut butter and jelly. Yup, yeah, yup. Yeah. Dick and pussy. <laughs> oh, don't say that out here. <laughs> like Ryan, Ryan. <laughs> calls a riot. <laughs> oh shoot, let me go and move. Soon they're gonna say it's a crime for a man to lay with a woman. So that's why they're gonna get to that. If then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that it is good. Now then, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. For I know that in me the most, that is. It actually, so that's part of the curse of the Most High put that spirit, mm -hmm. that spirit on you to make it so you can't be perfect. Because there's only one perfect. That's right. You know what I mean? It's the Lord. Cause like there's another scripture that said the uh, Most High put a uh, something in him just so he couldn't boast. Because yeah. if, if a man was perfect and never sinned, he'd be boasting. He'd be all proud. Cause, yeah. That's what they do. Some Anderson type so, yeah, Steve Anderson type of There's a lot of preachers out there that try to act like they perfect and they never sin. Oh, yeah, bullshit, man. The scripture says he did, uh, says he does not sin as a liar. He did kick with a boot. Ain't that in John? Still told boot on boot on. Isn't that, isn't that scripture in John says he that says he's not a, that never sin as a liar? <laughs> if somebody acts like said they never sin, you know they're a fucking liar, man. Hmm. I can bust all kind of laws out on them. Right, right. Because first of all, if you let, uh, if you have a woman, if you have a wife, but she's already been with another man before she got to you, right. you're sinning. I mean, you've already sinned. You can't undo that. There's only one way to undo that sin. Mm -hmm. That's through the blood of your house shot. That's it. For I know that in me, that is in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me, but how to perform that oh, yeah, which is good. I remember we was up uh, uh, chilling with Peraza. I hit him with that. I, I brought that up. Because he tried, he's trying to act like he was free of sin. I'm like, so you tell me your woman? He was proud as fuck. Because I was like, you tell me everybody. Because if, if your woman, cause that, that's, that kills people, man. Because that's some moments everybody's guilty of. Everybody's wife has been with more than one man. That means you're sinning, man. I mean, you're still sinning. I mean, even when you're in the truth, you're still sinning because it's still against the law. You're not supposed to do that whatsoever. That's a big no-no. You know what I'm saying? These hoes coming with some baggage, boy. They come, that come, that's it. Because really, adultery, if you're with a woman that's already been with another man, punishment for that is death, okay? But through the Lord, you can be forgiven of that. But it's still a sin. Yep. For I know that in me, that is in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing, for to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good, I find not. For the good that I would, I do not, but so, the evil. I would just be thinking about that, I say it again though, because I, I'm guilty of that sin. I should be put to death. You know what I'm saying? The bitch I was with, she probably had all kind of dicks in her before I got to her. I, mean, I know that for a fact. You're not alone. So I mean, I should be put to death for that. Now I'm guilty. I'm guilty of death. That, that's a sin under death. That's why the. That's why the Lord. That's you didn't know though. Oh yeah. Well, exactly. But that's why we teaching this gospel. That's right. To let people know that look, without this, you 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 do got. Right. If you don't have the Lord, you do got to pay for that. That's right. Because you know what I'm saying. Turn if, people from their weakness. Because if your your house shy ain't dealing with you, that means. You, you gotta pay for that sin. That's right. You get you gonna get that punishment of death. So we choose not to sin willfully. Yep. You know, we choose not to be into that wicked shit, man. Um, for the good that I would I do not, but the evil which I would not that I do. Now if I do that, I would not. It is no more I that's that do it. And that, that 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 woman thing. That's a big thing. Cause it's hard to stop yourself from fucking with some women, man. Yeah, it is. You know? I'm not, I'm not talking about committing adultery because getting with somebody that's with the man. It's, it gets so damn confusing because every woman's been with so many men, you right, know? Right, 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 right. So it, it's confusion. That's why it causes confusion. It causes sin. Mm -hmm. 
the sin that dwelleth in me. I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. For I delight in the law of the Most High after God. the inward man. Yeah, so we delight in the law. We're not gonna say uh, a law in the Bible is wrong. Like, like where's the scripture in Deuteronomy, the 22nd chapter, that says a man can lay hold on a virgin and take it, you know what I mean? And we're not, we're not gonna dispute that. That's the law. Everything the law says, we agree with it. Everything. A every last word in the Bible, we agree with it. The law says it's, kill these faggots, you know, we down with it. We, we with it. Until the time comes, but we start slaying them. Yeah, because yeah, we're it's our job right now to teach, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Put that charge out like these motherfuckers charge these motherfuckers for a, a, a crime or whatever. We charging Esau. Or the just, wicked or Israel. We charging them. Yeah, it's our job. Yeah, we it's a charge. We're just teaching the Bible, man. We're giving you your ticket. <laughs> we're not teaching anybody to do uh, cause physical harm to anybody. Actually, we're telling you to do the opposite. Don't harm anybody. The scriptures say, be harmless as doves, wise as serpents. That's right. Okay? Wise as serpents. Wise, yeah, be wise. Not stupid. You can't come with this truth and bring your niggerism with you. Yeah, then you can go, uh, uh, I'm gonna go kill some Edomites today. Right, right. I'm gonna go, yeah, take matters into your own hands. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go, I need to come up, man. I need to go find me and get, get some drugs so I can make some money. But then tomorrow I'll go teach this truth. Oh, that's right, even you know worse. I mean? You don't wanna do that. Yeah, no, that don't fit. Go sell some crack to buy some signs. I'll get some more scriptures. Let's get, let's get that 2 Timothy, the second chapter. That just goes. I wanted to bring this out earlier because you just going back into that lukewarm. Get that lukewarm again, man. Okay, because we didn't get it. We kind of got interrupted with that. Yeah, when it, when it, that's when the two fags came up, kind of threw that spirit off. I didn't really get a go through that. I, was, I wanted to ignore him anyway. Yeah, we should, I was trying to a little bit. It's all right though. They show you. I mean, they show you. They totally disrespectful. I mean, they, they know we fucking hate faggots. They're going to sit and kiss us. Sorry, right, though, because you know. That's that proud spirit. I'm just saying, that's that proud spirit. You know, if they are Israelites, they mark them. They, they know that shit offends us, and they did it on purpose. That, that's okay, because that shit offends the Lord even more. All right, uh, what you got? Uh, you got the, you got some in Corinthians? I was going to somebody get 2 Timothy 2. 2 Timothy 2. 2 Timothy 2. Second Timothy uh, 2 verse 1. Now therefore my son. Oh, hold on, let's get that lukewarm before that one. What do you want lukewarm? Yeah, lukewarm first. And Revelation 3 and 15. So it's like, we're going to get back to the original topic, which was, uh, you got to get out here and teach this truth, man. Uh, go ahead, read that. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou work cold or hot. That's because all you people, if you claim that you believe in the Most High, you believe in the Lord, well, how about you do what he said to do, which goes do the work. So read that. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I will thou work cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. All right, so the Lord, he's saying, you're going to be all the way in the truth and not in the truth at all. You know what I'm saying? You can't have one foot in the truth. You can't be like, uh, uh, be on the fence. You got, you don't know, but I don't know. These guys are kind of extreme. Uh, there's a lot of, they get, you know, I, 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 they just scared to go out teaching. They scared to do any work. They scared to uh, speak up and correct their family members. You know, mm -hmm. they don't want to cause a scene. But look, I love causing a scene, man. There's nothing more I like better than causing a scene. Mm. You know, I like to crash the party. Fuck that party all up, man. Bring them scriptures out, record scratches, hope, music stops. People's nails coming down scrap you, you start a fight when you bring scriptures out, man. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to do. You gotta be on fire with this truth. If you see someone going off, breaking the laws of the Bible, you curse that motherfucker out. I mean, we, like, well, that's why we see faggots, we call faggots to their face. We show them no respect whatsoever. We are real mean to them. 
then know it's not that thou. Oh, because a lot of people rest. just like, oh, I can't go out teaching with y'all because I gotta go to work. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on, you ain't working every minute, last minute of the day. Oh, we yeah. My brother work all the time. He still finds time to go out teach. Yeah, all the time. So, I mean, you know, that's how Jake always got an excuse. He got an excuse for everything. You know, his life revolves around excuses. And knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire. So, yeah, so we're gold tried in the fire. Keep going. That thou mayest be rich in white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eye salve, that thou mayest see. And many as I love, oh, yeah, because yeah, that's in the book of Revelation, too, so. Like the most I gonna clear up our cataracts so we can see good. You know what I mean? Because we were blind, like a uh, like amazing grace. You know, I was once lost, but now I'm found. Hey, that's that's the truth. I'll go ahead. In many as I love, oh, the amazing I rebuked grace. I'm going and off. chastened, be zealous therefore and repent. Be so all have to repent. You know what repent means? Now, a lot of people don't know what that word means no more. It's getting pushed out of the English vocabulary. You don't really never hear that word used that much, do you? Repent. Right. What does that mean? Right. Ask, ask a little kid what repent means. Because right. right. their parents ain't teaching them. That's right. So pretty much the scripture is saying, brothers, that did come out. Hey, you still have that door is still kind of open. Oh, yeah. So bring your simple ass, simple asses back out, man. The scriptures say you forgive your brother seven times in 77, 77. That's seven. right. That's right. Eventually that door's gonna shut completely. Oh yeah. And while your ass out there working or doing whatever foolish you're shit, you ain't gonna you gonna be stuck out there. Oh yeah. <laughs> and this is gonna happen. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten by be zealous therefore and repent. Oh yeah, so like you can't you can't you can't like if your family members are giving you problems. Hey, read that again, man. You might, man, you ain't supposed to take shit from nobody. Read that. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. You chasten. So if you love your family members, and if they bucking up against the truth, you're going to curse them out. You're going to chasten them. And it's the same thing with our brothers, right? Right. All right. That's the main ones you want to chasten. You, you, you correct them. The main person you want to correct is your brother, actually. That's right. The hell with your wicked family. That's right. We're going to get something. Your family is wicked as can be. You know what I'm saying? Your, wo your woman is wicked as Your hell. woman is the number one demon in your house. Is your damn woman. Your bitch. Your woman, your, your grandma, your auntie. They have a bunch of wicked hoes. What are the, what are the other? They're this is cool. This oh, goes yeah. straight with chastity. Proverbs 3 and 11. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord. Neither be weary of his correction. Oh, yeah, if you're a man of the Lord, you ain't gonna get mad when someone curses you out with the scriptures. That's right. You be happy. Neither be weary of his correction, for whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth. Yep. Even as a father, the son in whom he delighteth. <laughs> happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that getteth understanding. Yeah, so we have understanding. Thankfully, thank the Lord. We have understanding and wisdom. We know this, the, the mysteries of the Bible. We understand the prophecies in the Bible. But we know that we're an Israelite. You know what I'm saying? Well, these Israelites out here, they don't even know if they're Israelite. You know what I mean? They walk around, uh, people calling themselves African Americans. You got people calling themselves Irish. You know, what the hell is Irish? What does that mean? That's not in the Bible. Behold, I stand at the door and knock if any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. Oh, yeah, say so you gotta come through the door. The door is open, it's right here. But some people, they wanna try to crawl through the window. Slither their ass in. Hey, the, hey, the door is wide the open. Basement window. The door is wide open. They got a welcome home mat, you know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> right, slid her in through that basement window. Next thing you know, pie, you, you might come through the basement. Yeah, door. oh yeah, they got a pie bacon. And they said that the house is furnished for the guests. So there's furniture, they got food on the table. Like you ring the doorbell, a nice, pleasant song plays. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It'll be some good shit. I was saying he's going to the North Pole, Santa. What's up, homie? Santa Satan. To him that overcometh, will I grant to sit with me. In my throne. I like you say, you're gonna grant to sit with him. You're gonna sup with the Lord. You're gonna drink some fine wine with the Lord. Even as Because at, at the Last Supper, the Last Supper, he said, the Lord didn't even eat. He didn't drink none of the wine at the Last Supper. He's like, I'm not gonna drink any more, any more of that uh, grape until we get into the kingdom. That's right, drink with us. Yep. That oh, sounds good too. Some wine sound real good right now. Oh, yes it does. To him that overcometh. And it's that the scriptures that real wine. You know what I mean? Yeah. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame. That's just like what he's reading earlier in Matthew, the 19th chapter, when it said uh, that he told his disciples they was going to be uh, sitting on thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Mm. You know what I'm saying? When they come back in the reincarnation. Oh, go ahead. And I am set down with my father in his throne. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the church. Yeah, my knees is going out on me. Hey, look, on 10th birthday. Are we good on that? All right, let me get one last scripture. Let me get that Timothy. Now, I've been wanting to get this, because this goes right with that lukewarm scripture. Timothy 2 and 1. Oh, yeah, because yeah, I've been trying to get that for like two hours. Okay. Second Timothy two and one. I, I wanted to get this one like the, look, when we first started. Go ahead. Now, now this was this was for all the people watching on YouTube, and this is for the too many people out here now. Go ahead. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus, Yahweh Shah. Yeah, that's right. We're reading the Bible. We're teaching about the one you call Jesus, whose true ancient Hebrew name is Yahweh Shah, and he's the truth. The Bible is the truth. Everything you thought is a lie. Read it. Uh, and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same coming down to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. So that, that's why if y'all if y'all feel the spirit, y'all supposed to teach this truth. If y'all watching, that? if they watching the videos on YouTube and you, you you know what I'm saying? You got the spirit in you. Now you're supposed to take that spirit and go teach. You're supposed to go, uh, supposed to go spread that gospel. You're supposed to go teach every creature. Ain't that what it says in Mark? To go teach every creature? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you usually go, like, like that song, I always love that old gospel song, Go Tell It on the Mountain, except for the end part. They're the last scripture talks about Christmas. Uh, yeah, they need to destroy for that yeah, one. Last yeah, but yeah. <laughs> it's like the last verse. <laughs> I never knew all the verses. I only knew like the, the chorus. Yeah, I looked it up on the internet and like the last verse it said something about Christmas. I was like, fuck this song. Damn. But uh, yeah, but if you learn this truth, man, you're supposed to want to run to the hills and just run, go tell everybody. It's like you're just amazed by the truth. You want to share it with everybody. It's like when motherfuckers hit the line on it, tell everybody. Yeah, you go tell, like, yeah. But this is be this this is the lotto, shit. We hit the lotto. Oh, no, oh, we hit them numbers came up, boy. It's seven, seven, seven. Pick three, you don't win that much. Oh, yeah. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shah. No man that no man that wrath enters himself with the affairs. I mean, hold on, hold on, before you go on. That's why the lucky number in craps is what? Seven? Seven? Remember your boy on Dave Chappelle? Like, what you know about seven? <laughs> he's like, he's like, Thank God. <laughs> yeah. he's like, what you know about seven? <laughs> What y'all, what you know about seven? He said he rode his 700 sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> At the crap roll tournament, when your boy Ashley Larry came up. Yeah. yeah. Is <laughs> he, I'm taking out the I'm going to fall, go ahead. But seven is a spiritual number. Uh, it, it, I mean, that's just a trip though. Seven really is. That's like seven. the hot number, man. What up, Romney? 
No man that wrath enters himself with the affairs of this life. Yeah, that, yeah so the hell with this world. The Bible said that love not the world, neither the things of it in it. So we got no love for this world. We definitely got no love for the people that are part of it. Oh, we only got love for our brother that's Do doing the will of the Heavenly Father. That's it. That's it. That's if you're not doing the will of the Heavenly Father, we got no love for you. That's it. That's it. All right, go, go ahead, go ahead. That he may please him who has chosen him to be a soldier. To be a soldier? So the Bible said you're supposed to be a soldier. All right, go ahead, keep going. So we are, we some soldiers out here. We straight soldiers. And if a man also strive for Masteries. Yet, masteries. Masteries. Yep. Yet is he not crowned, except he strive lawful. So, and you know, another point, too, uh, you look that word soldier up in the Greek, it says uh, stratiotes. Well, that's where the word strategy comes from, okay? So, so you know, we got to use strategy. We, you know what I'm saying? We're like tacticians. That, we're like uh, scriptural tacticians. You know what I'm saying? We're like generals of truth. You know what I'm like a boxer practice going to that gym, man, practicing them a combination. So you know when you're in the ring hitting, you, you, right. you can hear your manager or your trainer outside the ring throw this combination, you know, throwing in numbers, right. like Tyson used numbers. Right, you gotta set him you up know? with a jab. That's right, that's you right. You gotta start that's hit him right. with a you know what I can't hold it right. no more. I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh, uh, yeah, use the bathroom. I gotta go too. Man. All right, so hey, we're gonna read that last scripture. We're gonna get that last Let me scripture. Read this real quick. I'll go ahead. This is Philippians um, 2 and 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, and work out your presence. own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is the most high which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. It said with fear and trembling. So right. you got that fear of the Lord and you're going to do the work. You're going to bring your ass simple ass out here. And, and you're going to be a man. soldier. Ain't nothing out here to be afraid of. Like I said, afraid of that woman at home either. Soldiers ain't f afraid or scared of nothing, are they? That's right. A true soldier. A soldier That's means you ain't scared. They're like, well, yeah, we're, we're, we're tacticians, scriptural tacticians. And you know the elders, they for sure some tacticians with them scriptures. Boy, they they corner you, they blitzkrieg your ass with them scriptures. You thought Napoleon was bad on the battlefield? Boy, the elders and the truth, they can't no one touch them. I for you, you got them scriptures, man. You like a, you like a master on the battlefield. You know what I'm saying? Final Fantasy, they'd be like, uh, oh yeah, the levels way up. <laughs> you ever played the Kingdom Hearts? You ever played a part when I? Uh, you gotta play Sephiroth. So like he ain't even part of the game, but he more harder than anybody. Hold that for me. Oh, uh, Sephiroth. But you know, Sephiroth. You know Sephiroth. What's going on about that? What's now Sephiroth, that goes to the back to the Kabbalah. You know that? Nah. The shit from finding Sephiroth that has to do with the Kabbalah. That's some uh, that's some Satanism. That's devil worship. So all them video games use uh, pagan names and uh, a lot of a lot of the video game characters are named after pagan gods happens all the time. Yeah, hell yeah. Hey, look at even comic books. All that shit. Oh, fuck. That what? Oh, yeah. It's good. The freedom scriptures out. It's always good when we outside teaching. No matter how much we stutter. You know what I mean? It don't matter. You come out here and stutter. Sometimes you can even sound stupid. It doesn't matter because we're doing the work. It still comes out like butter. Yeah, because sometimes I feel like I sound retarded when I'm speaking. But it doesn't... Where you get your boots from. Because we're not, we're not eloquent speakers, you know what I'm saying? Like most... But that's still going. I was talking to the camera. Because people be afraid to go out teaching. They thinking, man, I don't, I'm not a good speaker. Who cares? Come out here and just tell the truth. You ain't got to worry about being the greatest speaker. That's right. You, you yeah. can come out here stuttering. As long as you praising the Lord, he's going to take care of you. That's right. That's right. Like the scripture said, Moses uh, stuttered. He is slow he was a speech. Slow, well, yeah, he was slow of speech. So he had that same problem. That was Moses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, he wasn't a good speaker. Yeah. Yeah. So Moses still, he, well, Moses went to the Pharaoh and said, let my people go. Yeah. With all boldness like a soldier. Uh, we can end it on that. That's a good note. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a shit. Oh.